if you're a nice person, I'm nice to you and we will have fun, you know. But I'm not nice to someone just because he's a better poker player. Going back to what you said about not having a boss or not wanting a boss and realizing that very early. Uh, and you said about how the world works a certain way and they want people to behave a certain way, but you, you don't always want to behave in that way. How has that affected you throughout life? Yeah, I think I learned something about that last summer in Barcelona where I met a new, I would say, I can call him now a friend, who was kind of surprised of my behavior, like the first one, two days we met each other. Like most people just have a mask in the beginnings to be like being nice and having this mask and then you will be for sure like the people will love you because you have this mask, right? But I'm, I, don't, I don't wear any mask, like I'm just try to be me, you know, and if, it, if there's something I want to say, I just say it. And so of course, sometimes I regret stuff I'm doing or I'm saying, but I just, that's how I, how I am, right? And p people love me for that or hate me. And, but it's pretty easy for me. There's like an easy filter, like, so peop I surround people with me which likes me and I think that's awesome. I don't care about the people who don't like me, you know, but I, I won't wear a mask. It's not, that's not me, you know. Is that because you, your father sat you down and, and talked to you about the importance of being authentic or did something happen to you when you were younger that you, that you had to kind of be this way? I think way? it's just being me and I learned that it is probably the harder way hmm. to be like that, but it is, the way I want to live my life and it like if I have a friend it is a friend you know it's it's not, it's not he knows what friend he has you know he knows exactly what he gets it's not I'm not saying a and to b you know it also sounds like you know before you get your friendship group and you've obviously obviously got a really good one now it sounds seems to me like it would also be lonely as well because you, I mean, I'll ask you the question, what's going through your head when you're talking to people who are wearing their masks? Always try to figure out, like, like, is it fake or not, you know, because there are other people who are authentic as well. I have a good example, like Sam Graff, who is an awesome, awesome personality, and he's totally different. If you are one-on-one -on -one with him in a, at a dinner, you. You can talk a lot of stuff with him and it's awesome. I can learn a lot from him. And of course he's fun, you know, if he, like with his, like his uh, jokes and whatever. But um, yeah, for sure there are a lot of people who, who be authentic and be nice and are not miserable and try to, I don't know, like waste your time. How does the poker industry stand when it comes to authenticity and inauthenticity in your opinion i mean poker players are the, like this industry we are the best of the best in this industry so we on on the table we fake we do it all the time mm. so we are we it's easy for us to do it so why wouldn't you do it with your friends if you think this you gain some profit out of it you know Let's, for example, you are a way better player than me. Why not being super nice to you? So I get some knowledge out of from you, you know? Hmm. But, you know, that's, that's not me, you know? I'm not being nicer to you just because you are a better poker player. I don't care if you're better or worse. If you're a nice person, I'm nice to you and we will have fun, you know? And if there's some poker content going on, one or the other will learn from from the other person and it's fine, you know, because they're friends, but I'm not nice to someone just because he's a better poker player. <laughs>